This literature crate and its contents are all themed around this spooky season. As just a reminder, this doesn't include any official Wizarding World items. Now, you must be thinking, spooky this close to Christmas? Yes, unfortunately this box was delayed, but that doesn't matter. It's giving me total Nightmare Before Christmas themes. If you're new here, remember to click on that subscribe button. And I've been waiting for this box for a little while now, so let's go. Literal Crate were kind enough to send this box and the keys to me for free, but these are all my own opinions. So let us go. I think I might leave these keys, ooh, which I feel like I'm gonna fall over to the end because they are very special and they're very pretty. And these are really add-ons. They don't really come as part of the box. So I'll just leave them aside for now. Let's get on with this beautiful box. So this is the Literary Magical subscription. And this takes just a moment to quickly look at the beautiful designs, which are always very wonderful. The artwork, are all very magical and done with such detail and beauty and yeah look at that all the spookiness that you could imagine but yeah let's give you a sneak peek of what's in that box and then let's get on with the unboxing because that's the exciting bit so does that give anything away well that's just the cheat sheet which I don't want to look at because it's going to spoil it but do I quickly look at that just to see it has oh my god it has a lenticular on it so it is actually like a moving I don't know if that's even going to show on camera but that's a moving picture I love this that's so cool and the daily diviner I get it all right otherwise known as another magical newspaper but yeah we get that that's fun all right so let's put that aside because we definitely don't want to look at that yet just come with some great bubble wrap so everything is safe and okay let's have a look so there's a few little items in here gosh oh i'm kind of really tempted by this one first because that looks very beautiful gold foil and we all see that as like well um, that looks to me like bellatrix's dagger is that what's going to be included in this i mean definitely spooky indeed um if you are new to the wizarding world and not read all the books and seen all the films this might contain some spoilers so maybe don't continue watching this if you don't want to see spoilers but okay so we all know this terrible terrible dagger was the cause of poor dobby's death <laughs> if that does include this in there let's come a soft foam in there let's see let's see oh can i open it it is the dagger. Wow, it's, that's a really good replica. I must say, quite detailed and very, very sharp point, I must add. It is blunt, so it's not like, it's just like blunt me metal. It's just really is a design, but it does, it's, it is real metal. And I'm not sure about the handle, but it's very, very heavy. It's a very weighted item. I'm not sure I'd be as good as launching this through the air and it would spin and... Yeah. <laughs> Next item, again, I'm loving this silver foil. Look how pretty it is, like caution, cursed object. Do I want to open this? I don't, I'm not sure I want to be cursed, but I'll certainly be careful <laughs> when handling that. So yeah, we don't. no, no one wants to be cursed by dark <laughs> items, but let's get that open quickly and have a look. Oh, some more foam padding, so that's very beautiful. <gasps> wow, I see. Okay, so this is a beautiful replica quite small but a very cute little display piece that you can certainly put on a dark shelf display i'm not sure if it's like a pin badge or if it literally is um a, you know it is a pin badge and yes i am touching it so i'm not going fortunately it the curse hasn't got me just yet but that is a beautiful pin badge and it has three clasps on the back so you could actually um wear this as a pin but i think that's so pretty that that could certainly sit on your shelf as well, the cursed necklace that, uh, yeah, uh, Katie Bell touches and it's all a bit bad, but. <laughs> now the next item, again, we're sticking with this great silver foil. I love that very much. That looks like a Death Eater's mask on the front. <laughs> very spooky indeed. Now what is included in this? Is this a little mask? It feels like it. Oh, so it's a little creepy mask. That is quite cool now to me that looks like a replica of the bellatrix lestrange mask which fun fact we don't actually see in the film i believe there was one made for her like a, a one cast of her face but i think i don't know if it's helena bottom carter said that she wouldn't wear a mask she's a proud follower of Voldemort. so we don't actually see 
her wear this mask, but there was one made and you can buy a replica of that. But I think that is really cool that you can see the uh, like the face. That's just my hands. I think it's probably in through. Really cool. I think another great little cursed spooky display item they can go and sounds like real metal to me. I think that is remarkable. Such detail. Now there's one quite large item left in here, but there are small items which I think I shall address first because those are always lovely. Again, some great artwork. I'm not sure, is this, is this a lenticular? It looks like it's moving. It is the moving, so the vanishing cabinet, and you can see that it does actually open. I think that's a great bookmark. I love a bit of lenticular. Oh, and you can see, just open. So open the clothes and you can see the apple inside. Is that gonna show up? Yeah, can you see the apple? Yeah, close, open. That's, that's really clever. I like that a lot. Very spooky indeed. That's a, that's a great bookmark to keep. And then we also have another bit of artwork here, which is a, like a beast card. So this one is for the Basilix, often called the Serpent King. This giant serpent was a magical beast bred by hatching a chicken egg beneath a toad. And then finally, they, of the smaller items, I do like how they include this artwork. So this is by a Seaside Spirit and it's like little, I always keep these as a token of memory from this be these beautiful boxes and how I have been lucky enough to receive these items for literally. Thank you so much for that. But I do like, I do like that quite a lot. It's very cool. Okay, now the final item that's in this box before we move on to the keys is this. Now this is giving me like, is this a throw? Is it a blanket? I'll definitely be using that because it is cold at the moment. Open that up. It's soft, almost feels like, like soft, like almost velour. Yeah, I think that's it's very much like the invisibility cloak is made from this like similar fabric. How am I going to display this? I have to do a cutaway to this. Looks, looks spooky. Okay, so this looks like a horrible scene when poor Dumbledore is murdered and they cast the dark mark above Hogwarts. Is that showing up? Can you see that? I think that's great. Very cool to have a spooky, well, a very spooky blanket. If you're looking to feel your Halloween spooky feelings with this, you can certainly get that. And I'll certainly use a blanket at any time. These are great. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Moving on to the keys. Now, these may not be specifically like dark arts themed, but they're always remarkable. The detail on these, oh, these are some of the best items. They do come separate to the box, so these are normally add-ons, and I'm always lucky when I receive these. I'm so excited, because they're so beautiful. So this is the, from the Literary Magical Key Collection. Now, a pink cover, normally these have like a black foam, so this is giving me umbrage themes very much so. So let's just get that off. Is that a teaser for what's included? It is indeed. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. How funny is that? So we got the umbrage little kitty plate key. So this would be like for her offer. So what would be in defense against dark hearts shadow key made. Here's a little cute little kitty with a T. This is very much like the one that she wears on her, but then it has the, the teacup too. Here's a little key ring. It's in this like beautiful rose gold as well. And even the key I didn't even notice is in the same design as her wand. This is remarkable. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. And how cute is this little um, proclamation? So I will have order and it's got a little lock on it. Oh, that's so cute. This is one of the best ones I've seen. I think I, I love to like hate Umbridge, one of the like, I would say great villains. And even I just noticed the kitty's lenticular too. The kitty moves. It's like the moving plate. <laughs> These, this remarkable, really, really well done. I'm sure it is Amelia that designs these. Amelia, again, such, such remarkable detail. I love this, this is so cute. Oh my goodness, and even the pink. <laughs> That's just one of them. So let's look at the next one. Next one is this chunky one, my goodness. I mean, why does this one have to be so thick? Who knows what's gonna be included in this one? <gasps> wow. Okay, so this, the, well, the Azkaban must be Azkaban one. So Azkaban has a key, apparently. <laughs> Not that you, they'd be handing that out very easily to people because that's the key. In the design of the Azkaban, like, fortress, I like the 
the um, prisoner number. This is like, this is like, it's all, it's, I mean, you can always use this like Christmas decorations, these are so pretty. I mean, yeah. And then we have the horrible Dementor over there as well. We have an extra key ring here. This is lovely. I do like this. This is, I, I do love a bit of like serious black, Escaban things, very spooky. This is great. I mean, look at the detail. It's just me, I'm blown away. So, so cool. And it even has, it even has a chunk missing from when the, like, the Death Eaters, like, break out Bellatrix from Azkaban. So good. Oh my goodness. These keys are amazing. Now we can move on to the cheat sheet, which, again, I said it was this. It's the Daily Diviner. It has that really cool lenticular thing on that one. I'm loving all this lenticular artwork in it. It's giving me, like, really, like, wizarding feels. I love it because we are, like, a moving photo in that. So that's really cool. I, I like how it's designed in the style of the magical newspaper. So here we have the Dark Arts blanket, so as we set in there as well. So it's really cool. The Disappearing Cabinet bookmark, like that. And it has all the artists that designed for this. I love how they support lots of different artists is included for this. Then we have the Cursed Opal Necklace Enamel Pin. Beautiful, it's just enamel, okay. We have Dark Arts theme print, which again, I love keeping. The Dark Arts, so the Dark Magic Mask Replica. A beautiful little one of that. So cool, and it is, yeah, great. I think that's, that's, really, that's really great, that one. Darkness Strikes Again with the Dark Witch Dagger Letter Opener. It's a letter opener, amazing. I'm totally gonna use that. I, why did not I think it was a letter opener? Oh my goodness. I thought it was just a cool display dagger, but letter opener, yes. <laughs> and then featured add-ons, we have the Pink Professor's office key. We know which Pink Professor that is. It is by Amelia, again, fantastic. Well done, Amelia, I love them so much. And then we have the Wizard Prison key. Great, great, great. Uh, I like how they don't sort of spoil it in that, so you can sort of see if you want to, to get that one. Right, so the next one they say is sweets and treats. Uh, I do like a bit of magical sweets and treats. So, will feature items related to all your favorite homemade confectionaries from flavored jelly beans, frothy buttered beer, and chocolates. This crate won't have anything edible, but will be the most magical sugar rush you've ever experienced. So it says your subscriber renewals are set for the 1st of January 2023. Subscriber add-on week is set for January the 4th. So if you're looking to get the next one, I mean, you've seen some of the details. I think Litcher crates are some of the best magical crates you can get around. Next one is gonna be the sweets and treats. So do look out on their website, which you can look on litcherocrate.com and get that when they are available. Ugh! So that's it for this Litro Crate unboxing. A massive thank you to Litro for selling these items to me. I really enjoyed this. Let me know in the comment section below, which was your favorite item? Now that I know that this is a letter opener, I think that my favorite item is this dagger because I love a magical item that I get to use frequently. I mean, it's great having things that you can display and look at, but if it's a magical item that I can use <laughs> in my day-to-day -day life, then I'm gonna get I'm gonna enjoy this so much. So definitely I would say the dagger is amazing. If you're new here, um, welcome. Uh, be sure to click on that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that when there's a new video, you'll be notified. Be sure to give this video a like and with that, remember the Wizarding World is just one spell away.